to the jungle, so you know, it's a lot of <laughs> head bumping on rocks and, and mud, um, but it was fun. You know, you gotta you gotta get down and dirty on the show for it, to, for it to be real. You know. Do you and Richard Harmon compare notes on who's taken the worst beating so far? Um, I haven't I haven't compared. No, I've, I've just seen Richard go through some serious like like when he was being hung, the mud. I, I don't think anyone's ever said this yet, but the mud was actually manure. So like oh he was literally being dragged through shit. Um, and uh, it was disgusting. And like, and then when he was being hung, like I had to go home and take a cold shower after and watch a light-hearted comedy. That's it. And you see stuff on the show. That's okay, just Hey, your character ridiculous. got speared. He's got nearly hung to death. You've yeah. both been drug around. You're yeah. like, whoa. <laughs> I know. And he tried to kill me too. You're taking a beating, man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Punch in the face. Got a big bruise on my eye in these next episodes. I'm just trying to stay alive. I'm happy to have a bruise, you know. That's nothing. As long as it's another, not another spear, I'm good. What's happening next for your character? What's going to go out? Uh, Jasper's going on another wild excursion, um, which the last one didn't go over so well for him. But uh, he's he's going out with Bellamy to find uh, Octavia. And um, he sort of overcomes his fear just because he has to, because he loves this girl so much and he doesn't really care about... Um, death anymore at this point because she's out there and that means so much to him that um, he's got to have her back and uh, there's no point in living if, you know if she's gone so uh, so we see him kind of face that fear that he's been bottling up since he got speared and then releasing it into the forest uh, as he has this sort of mental breakdown a little bit. You're gonna see him crack. Um, well, this post-traumatic uh, stress? Yeah, it's a lot of post-traumatic stress um, and a lot of anger, I think, of, of the post-traumatic stress. You know, it's like, I'm just tired of being afraid and living in fear. Um, and uh, it's just been like that his whole life, I feel like. So um, he, he kind of just lets that out. Um, it's like, don't spear me, you know? Or if you're going to do it, just do it. Don't hide out there in the jungle and wait, because I'm I'm just terrified. So, um, yeah, we're going to see him go through that. And then also, he, he kind of has to step up a little uh, later down the line as well, because of all the stuff going on, it's, it's just it's too much to, to not stand up and take action. You know, You're going to be gotta, a tough guy then. you got to fight the good fight, you know? Uh, yeah, uh, you got to defend what's yours, and um, and our survival is kind of imminent to us. So <laughs> we got to defend our, you know, our base. Right. Uh, yeah. And what's inside it too? There's just danger inside, outside. It's a very, I mean, it's a very stressful living space, you know, Earth. Yeah. Other than the physicality, how about the emotional? How do you prepare for that? How do you get into the role? And um, it's interesting. I mean, I, I love where we work in uh, Vancouver in, in the jungle, in the woods. You know, it's the rainforest. Um, it's it's so. I mean, it's so beautiful. But you're you're really in it. You know, and, and you're really like in the environment that that you'd be in in the show. And um, and that really helps you kind of ease into you know uh, the world because you're you're automatically just there. Um, but I uh, I don't know. I I like to just sort of uh, do things on the fly. <laughs> I'm like Jasper kind of. I'm like yeah. just try something different. Um, but uh, kind of prepare for the emotion. I'm sure. <laughs> acting, you know, <laughs> just acting. I don't know. Is Jasper kind of Team Bellamy now that he's kind of hooking up with the sister? Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I think Jasper's definitely Team Clark. Uh, you know, for moral reasons. Um, she obviously has the human race's best interest at heart. Uh, but, but yeah, I, I think there you, we will see a bond between uh, Bellamy and Jasper as um, yeah, they both have this, this you know, this drive for Octavia. They have this, this love. They have to protect her, and um, that similarity um, might grow them. You know bring them together a little bit, which is nice. Um, and then also, Bellamy is such a commanding guy um, that I think Jasper and others start to, to see that we actually will need something like that when times get really dark. So, um, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to see Jasper 
maybe be a little Team Bellamy, but, you know, I, I don't know. I think Jasper loves everyone, you know. <laughs> yeah, real he just guy. wants some peace. Yeah, he's a likable guy. Yeah, yeah, he just wants some peace and quiet. You're always rooting for him. Yeah, you know, just don't spear him again. The underdog. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you would you would take the same risk that your character takes in this situation if you were here, put in here? Yeah, I think so. I I, I love Jasper because he, he really is um, he does use logic. Um, he's afraid, and as as he should be. Um, but when it I mean when he does take action, when he does go out there, um, it's for the right reason, and and I think that's something that I do too. You know, he's 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 always got someone's interest at heart um, that uh, that makes him kind of courageous and stupid but you know, stupidly courageous in that he's going out into you know a grounder filled jungle uh, but but yeah I think I I'd probably uh, follow Jasper's footsteps in the way that he in his, the decisions he makes you know because they're logical but some of them are just based off you know emotion and, and like you know, caring about people. Because he does kind of cut against the grain of mm -hmm. some of a lot of the people that are, he's down there with. Yeah. And so do you think, are we going to get maybe a, the backstory as to why he, he he was kind of molded that way before he, he dropped down? I don't know if we're going to see his full backstory yet, um, but... I mean, my my main thing is always just for Jasper is that his his drive is Octavia, and it's and it's something to do with it, that Octavia is uh, is sort of what he wants to be, kind of, and and she's this wild sort of free girl who uh, you know she, she she just does whatever she wants, and um, I think that impresses Jasper and and excites him and. He wants to be a part of that kind of world. So, um, for me, I've always played it as you know, most motivations are are for the girl because that's all he really has. You know, he has. If you grow up in a, you know, a prison cell, he didn't have much, but he did have this idea of Octavia. He had seen her around, which we'll see in the next episode, their first interaction, um, which is nice. Um, and he had a friend too. Yeah. Down too, yeah. So. Yeah. So, it's. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so what does he think about Raven? I mean, she's come down from the Ark. She wasn't part of the original group that was down there for criminal reasons. I think it's interesting. I don't, I don't know if uh, he has anything against Raven or, or, or initial feelings. The, the main thing for Jasper is that he, I think he knows what's going on between um, Finn and Clark. And the fact that Raven's down now um, is uh, something that... I, I think Jasper's interested in how Finn is doing, <laughs> um, because, more so than that Raven is here. You know, I don't think he has anything against her or, or, or any feelings for her or anything. It's more just like, hey, dude, so you got two girls now. What do you do? Um, because I, I, I always another thing for for Jasper, which I'm sort of subtle, but I always played it like Finn is like this rock star, and uh, you know he was the spacewalker. So um, anytime he's around, kind of like starstruck, but keeping it cool. Um, because you know, in space, that's our. You don't you don't have many like celebrity or anything, but this guy used a lot of oxygen to do a spacewalk. And that's pretty cool uh, in my books. And uh, yeah, so I'm just interested in, in his like gossip life. You know, like, what's going on with the girls? Um, yeah. Do you see the scripts ahead of time? Yeah, you get them. I mean, it, it depends uh, on how fast they come out because we were going as they were being written as well, but. Uh, you could get them, you know, a week before. You could get them like mm -hmm. th two days before, uh, three days before. Uh, so you have to be ready on your toes and like hope you don't die on the next page.